What's up YouTube? It's Alyssa. So today, as I promised on social media, I was going to do a, a WrestleMania themed YouTube video. Um, also, please bear with me because I'm new to doing this. I have been planning on doing this for the last couple weeks. And since I've been home, I have been able to plan it out just a little bit on what I'm going to be talking about today. Um, there are a lot of WrestleManias that I really, really enjoyed watching growing up. Uh, for example, WrestleMania uh, 17 is my all-time favorite. You had uh, Shane McMahon versus Vince McMahon in the street fight. I absolutely loved that WrestleMania. As a matter of fact, I'm going to show you something and bear with me because like I said, I'm, I'm new to this. Uh, this is a custom pop I've gotten made. Uh, that was from WrestleMania 17. Um, my friend who made it, she is really, really good at these. Um, her name is Emily Shaw. She does Kimley's Customs on Facebook. So if you're ever looking into getting a custom pop figure made, I recommend going to her if you prefer to just, you know, purchase within the U.S. I also have another friend from the U.K. who also makes me custom pop figures too so I will be showing you one of his uh, whenever they come in the mail um, I also tried out White Star Customs and they've also made me a custom pop figure that looks great but uh, Kimley's has made mostly all of my uh, custom pops um, I will be doing a separate video on the rest of the pop figures I do have if I hadn't already um, so um, the Wrestlemania I really want to talk about today, I have the shirt for it, I have a microphone uh, that was from Wrestlemania 2000, like one of those voice changers, it had Stone Cold Steve Austin, it's on its way in the mail, it'll be here tomorrow, latest Monday I think, um, so I'm just going to show you guys exactly what I have, and this, and this was the McMahon in every corner, you had Triple H, versus Mick Foley, versus uh, The Rock, versus The Big Show. And here is the t-shirt to it. Uh, these are very hard to come by. There is one on sale, I think on Debop, uh, for like $75, maybe more. But I got mine for $120, and I, I rarely wear it uh, because it's special to me. And I collect the McMahon family. So that's why I have this shirt hanging up at all times, which they're fixing to have a poster put up behind me instead of this A because I'm still waiting on some stuff. And with the issues that are going on in the world today, it's kind of pushed back a little bit. Um, so, yeah. And also, White Star Customs, uh, his name is Nicholas. He made this custom pop figure of Shane McMahon for WrestleMania 2000 for me. It, it turned out really great. It has this little logo right here. So if you want to hit him up on Facebook, go right ahead. But this is the pop figure. This is when Shane McMahon came out with the Big Show. He was in the Big Show's cor corner. Um, so this is one of the custom pop figures I've gotten made. A lot of people are like, why do you have that made? Well, Shane has a lot of the same attire, except for his jersey changes a little bit. So I thought I'd go ahead and think outside of the box and get him made as uh, a corner person. Because he was in the Big Show's cor corner. You had uh, Triple H and st with Stephanie in his corner. Then you had The Rock with Vince McMahon in his corner. Then you had Mick Foley with Linda McMahon in his corner. And Mick Foley came back and wrestled. And I don't recall seeing him wrestle after that. I mean, he might have. Um... I have not paid as much attention to wrestling lately, so I'm going to be straightforward with you. If you start asking me questions about uh, the current product or AEW, I'm not going to know anything because I haven't been paying attention. Um, to be honest with you guys, I'm more of the Attitude Era girl, Ruthless Aggression. A little bit after the Ruthless Aggression, I had to take a break from watching due to situations that I was dealing with. And then 2016, I started watching because Shane McMahon had returned. And now I'm just, you know, kind of flip-flopping back and forth. But I mainly watch, go back and watch the 90s wrestling, early 2000s. Because, you know, Attitude Era, my opinion, was the time to be alive. Everything was happening. Now, 
1999 was not the best year for wrestling because of the Owen Hart incident and then you had draws getting paralyzed. That was the worst year yet because I took a break from watching wrestling in 99 just a little bit because of Owen Hart's incident, which I don't like to talk about very much. And then uh, right after I started watching, then draws got paralyzed. So I really didn't start watching really until probably January of 2000 is when I really, really, you know, got into it. Like I couldn't miss a Raw or SmackDown. Now, in 1999, I was five, so I probably shouldn't have even been watching wrestling. You you guys know that I grew up in the Attitude Era. Some of the things that were shown, I did it, and I turned out fine. So, um, no hate to that at all. Um, and uh, speaking of WrestleMania 2000, hopefully I don't make a mess over here. I also got the DVD to it. This is really hard to find, especially in mint condition. I actually open mine and I watch it whenever I don't feel like using my uh, data for my phone. Um, I'm trying to get all this off here. Um, okay, so another thing I purchased, and I purchased this off eBay. Um, I purchased the WrestleMania 2000 um, pamphlet or program, whatever you want to call it. Um, I was so excited when I saw it for sale and I went ahead and got it. It would cost me $180, but this is the main reason why I wanted it. It's because it has the McMahon family, and I do collect the McMahon family stuff. I do have custom figures made of Linda McMahon, which I will be showing you here in just a minute. Um, I just did a contest on my social media, um, which, by the way, if you do not follow me on social media... My Instagram is Alyssa Owens915. And then if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's Alyssa Owens915 as well. Um, and then I have I have a Facebook uh, group. It's called Alyssa's Wrestling and and uh, Collection. So that's what I have right there. But um, I used to be big into the Mean Street Posse, which I'm not anymore. I'm actually putting my collection up for sale. But here they are in here. They did the the 13-man hardcore uh, championship, which Pete won that twice. And I think Rodney did too. I'm not too sure about Joey Abs. I have to go back and look. Um, but I had someone on Twitter say that they didn't like they they didn't like the McMahon family four-way. I mean I liked it. It was enjoyable. But um, they liked the Matt Hardy. Uh, and Jeff Hardy ladder match, which they are badass at what they do. So, I mean, no hate to them. Um, I've always liked the Hardy brothers. Um, I still do. But that was not my favorite match, honestly. I mean, WrestleMania 2000 was a really, really good WrestleMania in general, if you ask me. Uh, everything was well put together. Storylines were great. Okay. All right. So... A lot of people are asking me about this right here, the WrestleMania Access. It has everybody's picture. There's there's a uh, Shane and Stephanie. Um, this also uh, has has the layout to the Access, which I will go ahead and show you. If you were into wrestling, here's WrestleMania Access, which I really want to go to WrestleMania Access uh, one of these days. I will. Um, so this, this is very special to me because Linda McMahon has signed it. I did not obtain it. I bought it from, uh, Heroes and Legends, who's ran by Chad Flatt, who is amazing. If you do not, uh, follow his page, Heroes and Legends, uh, HL Pro Wrestling, at, uh, uh, on Instagram and Twitter, you need to do it because it's the best. But here... She signed it. There's Vince McMahon. And then down here is Shane's wife, Marissa. I do have custom figures made of her. Um, what I do is I go online and I look at her pictures and I'll be like, okay, let's go ahead and use that as an inspiration. I use Google. I use Getty Images. I use all those images that you're allowed to view. That's how I get my custom Marissa figures made. Now, there's a couple of them I have made that are just... 
uh, wrestling attire if she ever was to wrestle, but she wasn't a wrestler. What she did was she was an interviewer. So if you guys watched when Arnold Schwarzenegger came and attacked Triple H on a SmackDown in 1999, that was a woman that interviewed him. And then she was also on Livewire on Saturdays with Michael Cole. Um, she also uh, interviewed wrestlers backstage. Like if you go on uh, YouTube and search the Fanny Pack edition, she would be asking everybody about their Fanny Pack. She also was at the Emmys, I think in 98 or 99. I'll have to ask my friends. Uh, she interviewed China, I think it was. Um, and then, of course, her husband Shane was there. A lot of people didn't know that she was married to Shane at the time because back then, due to politics, you weren't allowed to say so-and-so is married to so-and-so. I mean, I guess it was just a thing way back in the day. So that's why a lot of people are like, well, I didn't know they were married. They got married in 96 and, uh, they were married. They got married the day before I was turning two. So, uh, awesome, awesome thing. That's why they're so special to me. Not only that, but other reasons. Um, and as I have promised, I've told you guys, I'd show off a couple of my collectibles. Okay. So this Linda was made by my friend Shane Marvel. And this Vince McMahon, I just purchased just just because. The original one that did go with her, actually, there's a McMahon family pack that I've always wanted, but I'll never get because that person will never sell it. But this figure, a figure that looked like this, except for a lot better condition, was supposed to be in, hold on, let me throw him, sorry. Was supposed to be in the one that looks similar to this. Now, this is not exactly the original um it's just a custom that i've gotten done um here's another linda mcmahon custom i've gotten done with uh vince mcmahon this is office attire i just did a contest on these 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 two didn't have a chance i just feel so bad for them um and then here's this one i really do like this one because it's different Although Linda does not dress like that in wrestling, but I still do like it because you know it's different from everybody else. And then this this is this is was her her significant other that I decided to put on. And then we've got last but not least this one, which my friend Scarlett made. And Scarlett made the last one I just showed you, and then Shane made the two, first two I showed you. But this is another office attire. I really, really do love Linda McMahon, and I do understand that people do not like her because of political views. I put that aside because what a person's political views does not make them who they are, like, likable, you know? That's just their views. That's just the same way with life. You can't hold somebody accountable because, uh, da, 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 you know? Um, so anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed looking at some of my customs. I am going to do another video and it's going to be about Marissa. Um, to conclude this, um, please check out my social media, uh, Alyssa Owens 915 on Instagram and Twitter. Um, so Please feel free to, like I said, on, like I say on social media, you can message me, you can tweet me, you can Instagram me, whatever you want to do. Um, I'm always open to new ideas. I am looking for more ideas for Shane and Marissa. And I need to ask the person that printed out the 3D of Linda McMahon if he's making more, because if he is, I'm probably going to ask a couple of friends to make me some more Linda McMahons, because... Um, my collection is, I, I, I truly love my collection and a lot of people say, well, you got a really nice collection and I, and I tell them, thank you. And the reason why I'm out here on the internet showing it off is not because I want to brag about myself. It is mainly because I want to show everybody that a girl can collect figures too. I don't only have figures. I also have magazines. I've got photos. I've got posters. I've got all kinds of things in my wrestling collection, and uh, so please feel free to follow me on social media, and um, I hope you guys have a great day, and thank you for watching.